the world's new monitor of human rights violations based on sexual orientation and gender identity is at risk. States must take action to defend his work. This June, the United Nations Human Rights Council created an independent expert on the protection against violence and discrimination based on sexual orientation and gender identity. In a historic moment on the 30th of September, Vitit Munterborn was appointed to the role. The Human Rights Council, the world's premier human rights body, provides the UN General Assembly with a report on its work each year. Traditionally, the Third Committee and the General Assembly Plenary pass resolutions in regard to the report. Generally, those resolutions simply take note of the report. However, this November, the African Group tabled a resolution at the Third Committee calling for the work of the independent expert to be halted in order to, to allow, allow time, time for further for consultations, consultations to determine the legal basis upon which the expert's mandate is defined. Halting the independent expert's work would send the message that LGBT persons are not entitled to full protection under international human rights law and imperil the rights of LGBT persons worldwide. It would also undermine the effective functioning of the human rights system as reopening Human Rights Council decisions questions its authority. Fortunately, eight Latin American countries introduced an amendment to the African Group's resolution to remove the paragraph relating to the independent expert. On the 21st of November, the amendment was passed by the Third Committee and the attempt to block the independent expert's work was successfully rejected. This was a great outcome celebrated globally the result of the mobilisation of activists and concerted efforts by key states. However, the mandate of the independent expert remains at risk. The mandate could now be challenged at the General Assembly plenary. It is essential that states remain alert to any such attempts and resist them. This is a question of defending the principle of non-discrimination. All states should stand for that.